In this example, we're given the function the square root of x, and we're looking for delta. Remember that delta is this region around, in this case, 4. And we have two of them, so we'll call them delta 1 and delta 2. And we want to know which of those is the smallest, and that's what we'll go with for delta. In order to find those, we need to first figure out what's beside 4. So we'll call these question marks x1 and x2 and once we find those we can find our deltas so x1 is the solution to the square root of x equals 1.6 and we know that because the function is the square root of x and at x1 the y value is 1.6 so we can now solve this by squaring both sides, and that will give us that x1 is equal to 2.56. To find x2, we'll use a similar process. x2 is the solution to the square root of x equals 2.4. Again, when we are looking at x2, the y value is 2.4. So to solve, square both sides, and we get that x2 is 5.76. So now we can find our deltas. So focusing on delta 1, delta 1 is going to be 4 minus x1, which we found to be 2.56, and that is 1.44. Delta 2 is x2, which is 5.76, minus 4, that gives us 1.76. And delta is the smaller of those two values. So the delta that we're looking for is 1.44. Or it could be any other smaller positive number.